Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Brightpath. And this week, I want to talk about last week's assassination of United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson in New York City. This uh, murder has raised significant concerns about executive safety and organizational resilience. The incident underscores the importance, in my mind, of having comprehensive strategies in place to protect key personnel and maintain operational continuity of your business. From a resilience perspective, I think there are five areas that companies should consider as they think about how to respond to this tragedy that has impacted United Healthcare. The first is around executive protection programs, that you should have a robust security strategy for executives. That might include personal security details, secure transportation, and regular risk assessments. I believe this is crucial for high-profile individuals who might be targets due to their roles in your organization. Second is threat monitoring and intelligence, that you should have systems in place to monitor and analyze potential threats from various sources, disgruntled employees, unhappy customers, activists that are targeting your organization. Proactive threat intelligence can help in identifying and mitigating these risks for your organization before they become or materialize into reality. Number three is crisis management planning. We should develop and regularly update crisis management plans in your organization that address scenarios like the sudden loss of a key executive. These plans should include things like your communication strategy, your high-level succession plans, and operational continuity procedures that minimize disruption. Number four is just employee support and communication. We've talked before that in the aftermath of a traumatic event, the need to provide psychological support to your employees and maintain transparent communication. This fosters a strong culture of organizational resilience and aids in the recovery to your organization. And number five is reputation management, that you need to be prepared for potential reputational impacts, especially if the incident attracts public scrutiny or criticism. Having a strategy in place to manage media relations and public perception and your investors, if you're publicly traded, is essential in order to maintain stakeholder trust. I believe by addressing these areas, companies can enhance their resilience against targeted attacks and ensure sustained operations during a crisis. Now, we don't do this kind of work at Brightpath. We're not security experts. We don't build or manage executive protection programs, but our partners at Corporate Security Advisors do do this kind of work, and they are among the best in the world at building security strategies that support the overall business. We would be happy to connect any of you, any of our listeners with the team at CSA to talk about their offerings are in this space. And we always participate in those in terms of helping support organizational resilience strategies as well. I hope this gives you some insight into some things that you can do at your organization, lessons that you can capture and apply to your organization moving forward. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.